connect to 11th pin similarly b2 i'll be connecting to 14th pin and the last bit of the data b that is b3 i'll connect to pin number 1 this is pin number 1 and this is your b3 so as of now we have all the two datas b0 b1 b2 b3 that is the first data sorry a0 a1 a2 a3 first data then you have b0 b1 b2 b3 the second data now we are there to take the output terminals and this is your output and how many outputs you have we have three outputs that is a less than b a equal to b and a greater than b so first a less than b i will take this this terminal as a less than b so the comparative output a less than b is taken from the seventh pin of the ic so this is the seventh pin so i have connected the output terminal with seventh pin then a equal to b is available in eighth pin of the sorry, sixth pin of the ic sixth pin of the ic so this is your sixth pin and this is a equal to b then the third pin that is third output pin that is a greater than b is available in the fifth pin okay so seven six and five these are the three pins which is acting as the output pin so i have connected these three pins to the output terminals to monitor the output using the leds i hope this is clear now we have another provision in this particular ic that is cascading inputs suppose if we are comparing more than four bits like eight bits and all what we are doing is we'll be making use of those cascading inputs that is 2 3 and 4 so the pin number 2 3 and 4 they are the cascading inputs okay so we'll uh, while checking the cascading inputs what you will do is we will retain this a0 a1 a2 a3 b0 b1 b2 b3 as such that is they, they should be equal to each other i repeat a0 a1 a2 a3 that is data a and b0 b1 b2 b3 that is uh, data number b they should be same and we are going to compare the higher order bits by making use of the cascader terminals 2 3 and 4 so here pin number 2 it is a less than b pin pin number 3 it is a equal to b pin and pin number 4 it is a greater than b pin so these are acting as the cascading inputs which i should give to ground or vcc according to the condition so first i will just connect the uh, probe as such and later we will see where to connect and all okay so i'll take three wires from one sorry two three and four terminals which are acting as the cascaded inputs so from two three and four terminal i have taken three probes and later we'll see how we can give this connection okay now as a default what i will do is I will connect this A equal to B pin, that is the third pin, third pin to VCC. So I will take the probe from the third pin and then I will connect to VCC. But you can see in this trainer kit there are more than 5 to 6 terminals uh, which is showing plus 5 volt. So they have internal connection. So you can make use of this plus 5 volt also. Okay, since it is free, this terminal you can connect okay so this plus 5 volt terminal i have connected to the i have connected to the third pin that is nothing but it is a equal to b at the same time what i will do for the second pin and fourth pin i will connect those two towards the ground so this can be considered as ground okay at the same time this this is your uh, fourth pin i guess yeah this is yeah, this is the second pin fourth pin i have already connected and this is also a ground terminal okay 
So as of now, what I have done is default I have maintained A equal to B towards 5 volt and at the same time A less than B and A greater than P uh, cascaded, cascaded inputs to ground. And based upon this circuit connection, I will be checking the proof tape. So as discussed in the theory part, we are there to compare the bits. Okay. So as of now, we have uh, finished the connection part. Now we will switch on the power supply and we will check. Okay. So I have switched on the power supply. So first, see you can see here A0, A1, A2, A3, B0, B1, B2, B3 are same. All are 0. So in that case, A is equal to B. So the output, you can see, this is A greater than B output. This is A equal to B output. This is A less than B output. So here, A equal to B LED has gone. It means that the two inputs A is equal to B because all the four bits it has been pulled down to zero it is low see it is low when you take this here it means high okay now I will check the second one here what I have done is I have put A0 as 1 at the same time B0, B1, B2, B3 is 0 all four bits are 0 which means that this is equivalent to 1, 0, 0, 0 what is 1, 0, 0, 0 it is the it is a binary representation of it is a binary representation of 8. Okay, it is a binary representation of 8. So we are comparing 8 with 0. So A is 8 and B is 0. So of course A should be greater than B. Okay, A should be greater than B. So you can see the output at the fifth pin, which is A greater than B output that has gone. Okay, so this is the output that you have. A greater than B LED has gone. It means that your combination has verified. Hmm? The, your input combination has verified. Now we will make this down and the MSB of the second data that is I will make B0 high which means that this is 8 isn't it 1000 1000 means it is 8 that is the data B is 8 at the same time data A is 0 it means that A is less than B so when you observe the output you can see the first LED corresponding to the output A less than B gone high. So as of now, we have checked all the three cases A equal to B, A less than B and A greater than B. Similarly, you can go for any four bits, whatever you have. For example, if you take 2 and 3, you just compare, try to compare 2 and 3. 2 means it is 0, 0, 1, 0. Clear? Hmm? 3 means it is 0, 0, 1, 1. So 2 is less than 3. So it means that first LED close. Okay, A less than B output close. Okay, now I will compare 3 and 2. So I will make this as 3. 3 means 0, 0, 1, 1. And I will make this as 2. You just compare. It is A greater than B. So correspondingly this output has gone. So like this, any combination of the two 4 bit data can be compared according to your wish. I hope it is clear. Now, the same IC as I told you, the 7485 IC is also responsible for taking the cascaded inputs as well. Means, we are there to set all the 4 bits of both the datas as same. Means, A0, A1, A2, A3 and B0, B1, B2, B3, we will set as same. Assume that all the bits are 0. Now, if the higher order bits, means the cascaded bits comes into the case, we will go for the pin number 1, 2, 3. Okay, now what is pin number 1, 2, 3? Pin number 1. Sorry, it is not pin number 1. It is 2, 3, 4. Yeah, sorry, it is 2, 3, 4. Pin number 2 is A less than B. Pin number 3 is A greater than B. And pin number 4, sorry, pin number 3 is A equal to B. And pin number 4 is A greater than B. So these are the cascaded inputs. Okay. So as of now, I have maintained A equal to B. That is both A0, A1, A2, A3 and B0, B1, B2, B3 are same. And I have taken the third pin. See, the third pin, that is your A equal to B. I have shorted this A equal to B towards the VCC. Means 5 volt has been connected to pin number 2. I repeat, 5 volt you have connected to A equal to B pin. A equal to B pin means it is a second input of the IC. I mean, second pin of the IC. Okay. So you have connected the second pin of IC to plus 5 volt which means that which means that by using this you can track the output see 
here the second output has gone which means that a is equal to b means all the 8 bit data are same so by connecting this a equal to b to plus 5 volt it means that all the 8 bits means if you are going for from 4 bit to 8 bit both the 8 bit data will be same that is higher the cascaded inputs will be same for data a and data b as a result it shows output high at the second pin that is a is equal to b has validated the led has gone now suppose a is greater than b then what i have to do is i will retain the same case the input case will be retained as such that is a0 a1 a2 a3 is equal to b0 b1 b2 b3 that is the lower order four bits are retained same and at the same time the higher order bits that is a should be greater than b so that con condition we need to validate so which is the cascade inputs a greater than b over here a greater than b is nothing but pin number four so we'll take pin number four this is the pin number four pro so before i have i was connecting this pin number four to ground isn't it see this is the probe that we have from pin number four yeah this this thing so earlier it was connected to ground i'll switch off and i'll show you i'll switch off the trainer kit okay so this is the fourth pin that i have now i will connect this to vcc okay i'll connect this to vcc pin number four is a greater than b because you are giving the cascaded inputs in such a way that the higher order bits are given which should validate like a greater than b means the higher order bit should be greater for a the magnitude of higher order bit should be greater for a and lesser for b that is why i have taken this a greater than b cascaded input for towards vcc at the same time what you have to do at the same time pin number 2 and pin number 3 should be connected to ground so i'll take pin number 2 this is pin number 2 i will connect pin number 2 to ground and pin number 3 this is pin number 3 probe this also i'll connect to ground clear so what i have done now i have taken the cascaded pin pin number 4 connected to vcc which means that we are giving a higher order bits a and b in such a way that a is greater than b and we are there to check the output now so i'll switch on the trainer kit so a becomes greater than b that is the third output this is a greater than b output right so it has gone so it means that whenever uh, the lower order bits are same but still the higher order bits can be tracked by using this particular ic it can be compared the higher order bits can be compared by using this ic and correspondingly you got the output now we'll go for the third case that is a less than b for the cascaded inputs so what i will do is i'll switch on switch off the trainer kit once again and I will take the A less than B input. What is A less than B cascaded input? It is pin number 2. So the probe that I have connected to pin number 2, as of now it is in the ground. So I will disconnect it from the ground and I will connect to the power supply 5 volt. At the same time, the pin number 3 and 4, pin number 3 is this. So that will be retained in ground and pin number 4. I will connect to ground. So as of now only pin number 2 is connected to supply that is A less than B connection and we will switch on the trainer kit and we will see the output. Here what we have done is A0, A1, A2, A3, B0, B1, B2, B3 I have kept as the same data and with respect to the bit status of higher order bits means uh, the cascaded inputs we are tracking the output okay the condition a less than b is validated because i have taken the a less than p b pin that is the second pin to vcc so correspondingly i got the output so the thing is when the lower order bits a0 a1 a2 a3 b0 b1 b2 b3 are same then depending upon the status of higher four bits okay that is the cascaded bits it will be showing the corresponding output pins like a less than b a equal to b or a greater than b whatever be the status is that clear for you thank you